Well, this was just bad, bad what Milan played tonight. Um, yes, they dominated 75 minutes of the game, having possession all over the place. Bologna playing with two defensive lines. Most of the time it felt like there are 20 to 21 players in the Bologna half. But then again, you know, Bologna is in the bottom, they want to get a point. And what Milan was playing, I don't know. I think I have to say this reminds me a lot about what Lusk used to do. Uh, they're just not a good team. I mean, there were unforced passing errors. Unbelievable. Like, there were maybe two or three cohesive scenes. Uh, one that Chalanoglu, yeah, did not connect and in the end. Uh, but I don't even remember a dangerous shot on goal. I think there was one shot by Igoin in the first half where he couldn't get something behind it and that was it. The goalkeeper didn't need to do anything. It was just passing around, passing around. Yes, looked nice, but oh, pff, that was bad. Milan is in a really bad spot. Uh, ironically, they now have a two-point cushion on Lazio instead of a one-point cushion because Lazio is equally bad at the moment, but I'm sorry. neither. If it continues like that, neither one of these teams is going to make a top four spot. Um, and yeah. For Milan, we have now Kessie suspended, Bakayoko with one of those two stupid yellow cards. Yes, I mean, one of those probably would have been alright without a yellow. The ref, I think, had the yellows a little bit too uh, loosely sitting. I think you can argue almost any yellow card that he was given, he has given, but no, this was just, uh, it's. I don't want to do it on the ref, although I didn't like the refereeing. Very picky, very, you know, not letting the play go. Uh, there were some scenes, especially at the end, where Bologna actually was seemingly through, although it seemed like my, miles offside. Uh, and Palacios is suddenly <laughs> tripping. And then, yes, it's offside. Um, but yeah, the dangerous scenes were all coming from Bologna. And they didn't have much of the game. Uh, I remember there was a very iffy scene uh, around the 80th where it was a short corner plate that Donnarumma could kind of um, secure. They had a great counter, counter chance, strike chance in the first half. And yeah, uh, Milan had possession, but there was nothing, no creativity. It's a dead team. And I honestly, when uh, Bakayoko was sent off, I told my wife, oh, maybe that's not that bad because he was a liability anyway. But then um, I understand the Italian mentality. Yeah, you got to take an offensive guy off because you need to secure a defense. Leave Cialanoglu on. I mean, he had at least something going. No, he was not. He did not have a great game. None of them he uh, had. Um, but I have to say, Gattuso reacted, in my opinion, a little bit too late. Um, the Cutrone ego in this time did not work at all. Just bad. Just really bad, and I'm frustrated, and that's what I'm using this video for. Um, they uh, clearly, clearly they have, I still have a headache right here sitting. Uh, and that game didn't help. Yeah, I'm severely frustrated. Um, didn't see the end of the other second game that was on to, to, to the day. It was interesting with Alain between Re and River Plate, the semi-final of the Club World Cup, where Alain uh, converted a short corner, a, a, a corner to the near post, and went into the uh, net by Berg. Very weird, very poorly defended by the goalkeeper. Then River Plate, that was in the third minute, River Plate turned around by the 16th minute. It was already 2-1. The 1-1 one -one came after two great saves by the Alain goalkeeper. That were really great reflexes, which just his defense was standing around, so that was not that great. And then they made... I, I thought that at that point that the River Plate will win this 3 or 4 one Nope, nope, nope. Alain makes the equalizer, and I cannot say much, except that yeah, it seemed to be an even game. Uh, River Plate got a penalty in the second half that put on the bar and then it went to penalties it went to overtime and into penalties and I have this now from my wife I haven't seen any highlights Alain uh, won the penalty shoot with the cost the last real plate player uh, had his shot saved and yeah 
given that they had missed a penalty and given that the goalkeeper had great reactions, yeah, was to be expected. What we want is an all Asian final. No, but I think the way it's paved for uh, not not so great with Real Madrid, but even this Real Madrid is uh, will win this. I would say easily, and I honestly have to say that, um, yeah, <sighs> the Club World Cup is becomes a ridiculous exercise. Um, yes, it's great for Alain, but uh, yeah, it's a foregone conclusion that Real Madrid is gonna win that one. Yeah, so um, I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated with Milan. I really am. Uh, they could have made it four points difference, uh, get within three to Inter. Not deserved at all, but yeah, this is probably what they deserve to have. It's a snail's race, a turtle's race for fourth spot in Italy. Let me know if you watched that game, what you think about it. Um, Milan, Club World Cup, whatsoever. Um, give me a thumbs up if you liked that video. Subscribe to my channel, which is right here in the center. If you want to see more videos like these, I have here a few playlists for you of videos of similar kind that might interest you. And yeah, I will talk to you soon. Bye.